What's up guys, in this video I will show you how to set up and use your TCL Roku TV. Now over here I have a 32 inch TCL Roku TV but this should work for any model or size of TCL Roku TV you have. So basically I'll be guiding you on how to set up the TV and then showing you how to use some of the features of the TV like downloading of apps, connecting USB devices and even HDMI devices and some other interesting features of this particular TV. So first things first you have to go ahead and select your language in this case i'll be selecting english and then you want to go ahead and select your location as well for the purpose of this video i'll be selecting the united states now you want to go ahead and choose the usage of your tcl roku tv and since we are using it on our home not for retail purpose we're just going to select setup for home use now the tv will automatically start searching for wi-fi network it can actually connect to make sure that your wi-fi is turned on and you should be able to find it over here as one of the devices you can actually connect to if you do not find your wi-fi network over here you can scroll down and then just click on the scan again so that it can automatically rescan for wi-fi networks and over here i'm going to connect to my phone's hotspot which is actually my other phone now proceed to enter your password and i'll just go ahead and enter mine and once you're done entering your password, scroll down and click on the connect button over here. And now it is now connected. Now the TV will automatically start looking for software updates just to make sure that you get all of the latest features that comes with your TCL Roku TV. Now at this point, you want to go ahead and log into your Roku account if you already have a Roku account or create one if you do not have an account. Now, having a Roku account or setting up your Roku account on your TCL Roku TV actually allows you to be able to download apps and you know use streaming apps on the TV. So you want to make sure that this is set up. And usually, I recommend you select the activate with QR code option so you can actually scan the QR code instead of entering your email on the TV. So select the activate with QR code and at this point you want to come over to your mobile phone open up your camera app and scan the qr code that is on your tv you can see mine over here so i'll just go ahead and scan the qr code and then open it on my browser and you'll be automatically redirected to the roku web page where you can actually create an account in my case i'll just go ahead and enter my account details over here and then enter my email as well select your gender and your date of birth as well and once you're done, you just want to scroll down and click on the continue button over here. And at this point, what you want to do is to just click on the continue so that you do not require PIN. Verify your email. I can go ahead and skip the verification process and do it later. But basically, a verification email has been sent to my email. Now at this point, what you want to do is to go ahead and enter your credit card. This will be necessary if you want to buy certain apps or make some subscriptions on your TCL Roku TV. But since we'll not be doing that, I'll just click on the skip. And now you just want to go ahead and click on the I agree option. Now you also want to choose your location. In my case, this is a living room TV. So I'll go ahead and select living room at the top over here and then click on continue. And at this point, you can go ahead and add any app you want to be as a pre-installed app on your Roku TV. In my case, I'll just go ahead and skip this so I can download and install my apps later into the TV. Now, the setup process is complete and automatically, your TCL Roku TV will start updating itself and then automatically setting up the TV for you. So you just want to go ahead and give it some few minutes. And at this point, you just want to go ahead and click on the OK button on your TCL Roku TV remote control. Now the TV is going to ask you to go ahead and connect all of your devices to the TV. So if you have like your gaming console, your TV box, like your Chromecast with Google TV or Fire TV stick, whatever it is, you want to connect to any of the HDMI ports on the TV or even your USB device to the TV, you can go ahead and connect them on the TV. Now once you connect them, you can go ahead and click on the everything is plugged into the TV option. Now this is only if you have your devices connected to the TV. If you do not have your devices connected to the TV, you can just skip this particular option by just clicking on the do this later option and then click on done. Now you'll be taken to the Roku TV homepage, which basically looks just like this. And now I'm going to show you how to do some of the most important things on your TCL Roku TV. First things first, to download apps into the TV, you have to make sure that the TV is actually connected to the internet. And as you can see, mine is currently connected to the internet. Now from the home of the TV, you want to scroll over to the right hand side and then scroll downwards until you get to the add apps option over here. Go ahead and click on it. And you're going to be taken to the TCL Roku TV 
streaming store which is basically the channel store now to download and install any of this app you want to browse through all of the categories over here and find the app you actually like and then select it on the tv now let's take for instance we want to download and install the instagram app over here you can just scroll down and click on the instagram reels app and then click on add app now just give the tv some few seconds and it's going to automatically download and install this app into your tcl roku tv and then once that is done you can come back to the home of your tcl roku tv and you're going to see it as one of the apps on the home page of the tv so basically you can go ahead and open up this app and start using it on your tcl roku tv now that is basically how you can download any app into your tcl roku tv okay to delete this app you can scroll over to where you have the, the app over here and then you want to go ahead and press on this asterisk button on your remote control just long press on it and you're going to see some options you can actually do for this particular app so you can go ahead and check for updates you can restart the app you can remove the app which is basically you deleting the app from the tv you can as well just move the app to any place you want to move it to so you can just move it from here to the top of the tv over here and click on ok to stop to keep it in this particular location now there are a couple of other things you can actually do on your um roku tv for instance you can go ahead and connect a usb drive to the tv and you know access your usb drive on the tv for you to be able to access content on your usb drive on your roku tv you have to come over to the roku streaming channel which is basically the roku app store and then you want to go ahead and look for the media player app the roku media player app now this is actually the app that allows you to be able to access media content on your roku tv and if you come over to the personal media category you can literally see the media player app make sure you download and install this app into your tcl roku tv if you want to be able to connect usb drive on the tv and then watch or play content from your usb drive on your tcl roku tv and then finally if you want to be able to access your connected hdmi devices on your tcl roku tv what you just want to do from here is to come over to any of the hdmi input sources from over here so i can go ahead and select hdmi 1 or hdmi 2 or hdmi 3 or even the av option over here and the tv begins to show me contents of hdmi 1 on the tv you can also go ahead and connect your tcl roku tv to external speakers by coming over to the settings scrolling over to the remote and devices settings over here and from here you can go ahead and connect to your roku speakers by selecting speakers or if you have the option to connect to wireless headphones you can go ahead and select that option as well if you want to watch my full video on how to properly connect your tcl roku tv to bluetooth speakers i'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video or you can just check my category on roku tvs to watch live tvs you want to come over to the live tv option over here and then make sure that you already have your antenna connected to the tv then select the antenna or cable option or even both if you want to and once you select that your tv will automatically start searching for available live tvs you can actually watch on the tv and once it finds all of the available live tvs you can actually find you should be able to watch them on your tcl roku tv without any issue now basically these are some of the major things you can actually do on your tcl roku tv to enjoy your tv if you find this video useful please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one